Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is born in November 20, 1942 in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the son of Catherine Eugenia Finnegan Biden and Joseph Robinette Biden Sr. He was the oldest of four in an Irish Catholic family. His father was a businessman of varying success. Biden Sr. worked as a car salesman, a sales representative for Amoco Oil, co-owner of a crop dusting company, an executive in a marine sealant manufacturing firm, a realtor, and a boiler cleaner for a heating company. When Joe Biden was 10, his family moved to a suburb of Wilmington, Delaware, where he attended Archmere, a private Catholic school. He had to work by washing the school windows and weeding the gardens to help his family afford tuition. As a boy, Biden had a debilitating stutter for which he was bullied by classmates and even a teacher. He stood before a mirror reciting a line from Ralph Waldo Emerson's The American Scholar over and over, watching the muscles in his face in order to learn how to control them. Biden attended the nearby University of Delaware, where he studied history and political science and played football. He would later admit that he spent his first two years of college far more interested in football, girls, and parties than academics. But he also developed a sharp interest in politics during these years, spurred in part by the inspiring inauguration of John F. Kennedy in 1961. After graduating from Syracuse University in 1968, Biden returned to Delaware to work as an attorney before quickly turning to politics, serving on the Newcastle County Council from 1970 to 1972. He was elected to the U.S. Senate in 1972 at the age of 29, becoming the fifth youngest senator in history. From 1973 to 2009, Biden served a distinguished Senate career. During his time in the Senate, Biden won respect as one of the body's leading foreign policy experts, serving as chairman of the Committee on Foreign Relations for several years. In 1987, having established himself as one of Washington's most prominent Democratic lawmakers, Biden decided to run for the U.S. presidency. He dropped out of the Democratic primary, however, after reports surfaced that he had plagiarized part of a speech. Biden had been suffering severe headaches during the campaign, and shortly after he dropped out in 1988, doctors discovered that he had two life-threatening brain aneurysms. Complications from the ensuing brain surgery led to blood clots in his lungs, which, in turn, caused him to undergo another surgery. Always resilient, Biden returned to the Senate after surviving a seven-month recovery period.
In 2007, 20 years after his first unsuccessful presidential bid, Biden once again decided to run for the U.S. presidency. Despite his years of experience in the Senate, however, Biden's campaign failed to generate much momentum in a field dominated by Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Several months later, though, Obama selected Biden as his running mate. On November 2, 2008, Barack Obama and Joe Biden convincingly defeated the Republican ticket of Arizona Senator John McCain and Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. On January 20, 2009, Obama was sworn in as the 44th U.S. President and Biden became the 47th Vice President. Running for re-election in 2012, the Obama-Biden team faced Republican challenger Mitt Romney, a former governor of Massachusetts, and Romney's vice presidential running mate, U.S. Representative Paul Ryan of Wisconsin. Obama defeated Romney in the 2012 election, earning a second term as president and Biden another term as vice president. Amid growing speculation that he would run for president in 2020, Biden announced his candidacy in April 2019, joining a crowded Democratic field. In the ensuing months, Biden outlined a platform that included a number of policies that appealed to progressives. He notably supported government aid to low-income communities, ambitious climate change legislation, affordable child care, and the expansion of federal health care plans, such as the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, which had been enacted during Obama's presidency. During this time, Biden gained a somewhat sizable lead over Trump in nationwide polls, due, in part, to criticism of the president's response to the pandemic which had caused an economic downturn that rivaled the Great Depression. In August 2020, Biden chose Kamala Harris as a running mate. She became the first African-American woman to appear on a major party's national ticket. And later that month, he officially was named the Democratic presidential nominee. Biden was elected the 46th president of the United States in November 2020. He defeated the incumbent, Donald Trump, becoming the first candidate to defeat a sitting president since Bill Clinton defeated George H.W. Bush in 1992. Biden was inaugurated as the 46th president of the United States on January 20, 2021. At 78, he is the oldest person to have assumed the office.